Welcome back to a series that people have actually wanted to see again, which I completely agree with. We are going to be giving Pokemon Mega Evolutions yet again. However, for the next few months, until Pokemon Legends Z to A comes out, we will be giving the starters Mega Evolutions. Just for some more context, however, we will be avoiding Galar and Paldea when it comes to them, just because they are newer, and also the Galar forms have their own G-Max forms, which I think are pretty good replacements in terms of getting Mega Evolutions, though maybe in the future I will consider it if there's a enough want for it. The Paldean starters are very new, so I think it's still kind of like, you know, whatever. They're still pretty good with or without them. I think we can avoid them for now. However, with today's video, we're going to be talking about the Johto starters, Meganium, Typhlosion, and Feraligator. So let's begin the series that I have dubbed at a glance. Yo, Inka, you want to come out here? The first and maybe more obvious Pokemon we're going to start with is Meganium. I feel like a lot of people will have the same understanding that I do that Meganium is pretty much a very likable Pokemon, though it is pretty terrible in competitive natures. It's all good if you like Meganium just because of the way it looks or maybe you have anime tie-ins. Overall, we're going to be talking about the competitive nature of this mod, which is pretty bad. However, by giving Mega Meganium a chance, maybe you can realize that this Pokemon can be made to be great, it just needs a a lot of help. First and foremost, Meganium stats are 80 HP, 82 attack, 100 defense, 83 special attack, 100 spadef, and 80 speed, so pretty middle of the road for a lot of its stats to more of a defensive tank. So we're going to turn Mega Meganium into a grass fire type. The ability will be either drought or something new, which I'll go over later. Uh, we will be leaving the HP alone since those usually don't get changed at Mega Evolutions. We're taking 20 from the attack and we're going to go up 30 on each of the defenses, making those go up from 100 all the way up to 130 and then we're going to boost the special attack all the way up 60 points to 143 maintaining the 80 speed i think making meganium a special super can be something nice well yes not gaining any speed may be troublesome. I was thinking of creating a new ability that's similar to Crydon Maridon's ability without the attack boost. It'd be something like, let's call it Reinvigoration. This ability would set the sun for five turns while also giving the Pokemon a plus one boost to its speed. I would say it's more similar to a booster Pokemon as well, but the boost would always be speed given that this mod will always use some sort of help, you know? It's always gonna need something. New moves Meganium would gain are things like will o Burning Jealousy, Flamethrower, and Heat Wave. The inspiration for this idea came from the fact that it's a dinosaur with a pedal around its neck, so why not go with that motif further. Design philosophy is basically making it larger with a longer neck. Perhaps we would have another petal frillish thing on its tail as well. I don't know, I'm none too good at making designs or figuring little things out, but overall, I think that Meganium would be seen more as an attacker rather than being relegated to a defensive grass that doesn't get used at all. Next on our watch is Typhlosion. Typhlosion is a pretty mediocre Pokemon, is definitely one of the better low tiers, and is definitely my favorite of the bunch. Typhlosion has 78 HP, 84 attack, 78 defense, 109 special attack, 85 spadef, and 100 speed, and definitely wants better stats. Obviously, if you compare it to its Kanto counterpart in Charizard, you know what I'm gonna say here already. It, it, Charizard gets so much love, and Typhlosion didn't get any love until recently with the Hisuian form, which I think is great. However, we're gonna go ahead and give it a Mega, because that's what this is about, isn't it? Mega Typhlosion becomes a fire ground type, getting the ability Dry Skin. The only things changing are its defense going up from 78 to 88, special attack 109 to 149, special defense from 85 to 95, and its speed going up from 100 to 140. So we made it basically a special attacker, and a speedy one at that, which I feel like Typhlosion is definitely going for. Uh, I did think about fire electric for this typing i'm not gonna lie to you but i feel like that's kind of boring because then you're basically giving it something that makes it immune to ground moves like earth eater or levitate and while dry skin might seem like oh that's kind of weird hey man you look at that goddamn typhlosion you tell me he doesn't need moisture okay now listen i think that dry skin makes a lot more sense just because rather than making him getting better boost from special attacks like having storm drain and trying to make sense of that ability on this pokemon dry skin is basically just you see it, you get it, he's dry, he's ashy. All right, so I mean, it's pretty cool. And you could also argue that yes, he'll be taking more damage from fire moves, of course, but if you see a Typhlosion, you're probably not using a fire move on it immediately because that thing gets flash fire as a tin ability and that's what most people are using anyway so it doesn't really matter dry skin's a win-win in my opinion typhlosion already gets a good chunk of like ground moves and such so we're gonna go ahead and give it things like earth power spikes and sand tomb and probably shore up if not then we just get rid of shore up i feel like palo sand's pretty good to have that as its signature move design philosophy is pretty easy you just keep typhlosion give it more of the honey badger look with a really like large white spot ish sort of vibe 
Uh, I would definitely do something where it has like it's standing in sand or the sand is coming out the area where the fire usually comes out of and it kind of flows down both sides of the body kind of representing like it's a, like a scarf of some sort. It's a really interesting concept that I have in my brain but even if I could draw you wouldn't be able to understand it anyway. Last but certainly not least it's going to be for alligator. Uh, coming up with Mega for Alligator was relatively easy for me. It was probably the first one that I really had my eyes set on when it came to designs and buffs and everything else like that. And it is definitely the one that needs it the least if you had to ask me personally because you know for alligator is really good. So I mean giving it more things to make it even better than its counterparts. I mean why not? Mega for Alligator becomes just a water steel type. It maintains the hidden ability that it had as a regular for alligator with sheer force and just to go ahead and knock your socks off it gets 80 to its attack making it 185 it loses 20 special attack it gets 10 special defense and gets 30 speed so that is 85 hp 185 attack 100 defense 59 special attack 93 special defense and 108 speed for alligator pretty much struggles to be fast because it has to go for a dragon dance every time so why not make him stronger and faster keep the gator relevant among its other starters and paired with cheered force already it's good and let's make it even better with 185 attack on 108 speed water steel is pretty unique and sharing with him play on you know you're in good company uh concepts range from for alligator being a gator in armor to a mecha godzilla lookalike i'm kind of more so with a cyborg out kind of for alligator has some exposed skin or really a more robotic exoskeleton concept but there's a lot of things that for alligator could look like with any amount of concept art for a uh, water steel type for alligator would gain things like iron head hard press iron tail meteor mesh iron defense and autonomize and for alligator is pretty good as is but gaining steel types and keeping sheer force definitely make this mega worth your time and in my opinion it's definitely the best one out of the bunch it would still maintain something a dragon head, so you still have to be fearful of something coming off of 185 attack and 108 speed. I keep stressing this enough. I came up with this and said, yep, that's what we're doing. And then I was like, wow, what was I thinking one month later? Unlike the first video, we're gonna have an outro portion. Please let me know if you liked all of these concepts, if you only really fucked with one, what you would change, and maybe what you think my concepts will be like coming up in the next video when I do Sinnoh. However, that's gonna do it for me and my editor Thoth. Uh, this has been a very fun video to make, not gonna lie, and I definitely think that there is a lot to be talked about when it comes to coming up with designs, coming up with stat distributions and such. And I definitely wanna hear your guys' opinion down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, good night and good luck.